Hi, I am working this weekend. Uh, Marcy, one of my anatomy colleagues, she's running an international conference in Swansea, at Swansea University, with uh, students and some of my other colleagues helping. So a couple of days of that, lots of people coming to visit Swansea. Should be interesting, right? Good morning. Good morning, Sam. Morning. So what exactly do we do at an anatomy conference? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to take a moment to do it. <laughs> Video, yeah, we can, and yeah. more. So chat to these guys, you know I'm into uh, 3D printing, we produce stuff for uh, the students to study. These guys are using uh, 3D printers I haven't even heard of, technology that I don't even know about to print things I've never seen before. So we're thinking up ideas of things we might do to teach, so, so watch out. Well, we, we present our research, that's the main aim of a conference, so people talk and present posters about um, more detail in anatomy. Yeah, believe it or not, there is more detail to find out about gross anatomy, so a little bit of that. A lot of um, uh, variations in anatomy and describing those variations and how common they are, so things that really are designed to help surgeons and maybe anaesthetists and improve, improve health care. And then there's medical education research, which is supposedly my bag, and sometimes some of that's, that's interesting. Um, but to be honest, for me, the stuff I'm really interested in is, is how, how, how we came to be, how, how all this anatomy works at a cellular level. So I'm, I'm quite interested in, you know, more detailed stuff, not the gross anatomy as such, but cellular anatomy, signaling, how things work, the embryology, all those sorts of processes, which we don't tend to get too much of at small anatomy conferences. Anatomists tend to be I think anatomists tend to be teachers and have access to cadavers, so that's a lot of the work that goes on, whereas basic science researchers tend to do a lot of the, the cellular research and the embryology research and a little bit less teaching. So you tend to find some of that at some of the bigger conferences. But to be honest, the main thing we do is we meet, we, we share, we talk about the same problems and the same interests, and we drink a little bit of beer, which always helps. And we meet each other and we, we better understand the world, we better understand each other, we better understand and share our problems and uh, that's probably the main reason that we do this. Although to be honest it's quite important for career development, presenting and um, putting these sorts of things together, which is it's a lot of work, it's a lot of, lot of travelling, right? Oh. <laughs> You're not dressing up? No, we've got to wear our blue t-shirts. Oh, oh, so. oh, you're not dressing up either. No, I haven't dressed up. I haven't dressed up. <laughs>
that's that then. There we go, all done. Two and a half days of talks and meeting people and sharing. Well done, Marty and the team. That was very slickly organized. Very neat. Um, it's a huge amount of work organizing these things. It's really, it's really difficult. Um, and with any conference, you never quite know what you're gonna get, who you're gonna meet, what's gonna happen as a result, what you're gonna see in the talks. You never know what you're gonna learn. 